Okay, so uh, welcome to uh, our house in Ghana. Um, this shows us how the nanomembrane toilet really fits into the house. So you can see here it is uh, in the living room. Uh, so that was really one of our aims to get a, a toilet that was small enough to fit in the house. Um, so obviously that needed um, to have a really good odour seal so that it wasn't smelly. Uh, so we start, the, our first solution to that is our flush, which, um, let me show you how that works. So the waste sits, uh, goes into the bowl, then as you close the lid, the bowl rotates, and then finally this uh, scraper comes through and scrapes it clean. So it truly is a waterless flush. I just see that again. So the waste then drops into this holding tank and uh, naturally through settlement the uh, solids sink to the bottom and the solids are then removed with this screw um, and dropped into here. Um, the, the solids aren't going to be further processed by us at present. We're looking at working with other teams who have better expertise in the solids processing. So the uh, membranes are sat in the liquid, uh, remaining liquid. The membranes are hollow fibre membranes. So what that means is the, uh, each of them is like a little straw. Um, and we need to put a vacuum pressure on the inside of this straw and then water comes through the membranes uh, as a vapour. So then the next stage is that we need to condense that water vapour which is the role of these columns. So the columns have hydrophobic and hydrophilic beads in them and you can see that on this demonstrator here. So you can see these are the hydrophilic coating which allows the water to uh, run off and this is the hydrophobic coating which causes the water to bead up, which allows it to drain really easily. Uh, so the last part of our prototype is our power generation. We need a small amount of power to uh, power the uh, vacuum pump. So this can be generated from our uh, either hand crank or bike generator. So you see, as you turn the handle, you can see the power being generated. And the, uh, the bike has a similar effect. I can demonstrate that if you like. So again, as you pedal, the power is generated. So that allows us to run our toilet totally off the grid. So all of the components of the toilet, um, you can see the uh, CAD drawing of how they fit together into our final prototype. Uh, so this is what the toilet will actually look like and you can see some of the features so you can see again uh, the flush with the rotating bowl you can see where the power is plugged in. And you can see where the solids are collected. And that's designed for a family uh, of uh, 10. Up to 10 people. Uh, once a week. It would probably be a little bigger in the final prototype, it's a little smaller than the one in this particular version. And these things are the. These are the columns, yeah, that you saw on the back of the prototype. Super.